it's your girl queenie here for those who do not know me for all my returning subscribers you know what to do thank you guys for tuning back in i am back with yet another one yeah, so basically today we're talking about why i chose to study law um so this is how it all started back in primary school or let me just say growing up i'm somebody who knew myself so well i always knew what was good for me i always knew what i wasn't good at or what i was really good at so um i actually did not like science subjects and i did not like numbers as well so i just knew my field was somewhere in the social field it had to do with uh, a lot of theology or a lot of uh, theory and stuff like that philosophy and stuff so, yes that was great six i wanted to become a lawyer since grade six since my sixth grade guys so what happened was um people started calling me advocate so that that on its own triggered my want to become a lawyer people started calling me advocate teachers at school started calling me advocate so um that was that and then i got to high school and I still remained with the fact, or it's all a mindset also. You know, when you tell yourself you're not good or when you discover that you're not good at something and you also tell yourself that you're really not good at that something, you really don't become good at it at all. Did so uh, numbers or maths just to pass, you know, my aim was to pass numbers. My aim was, my aim was not to do too well. It was just to like, just get over and done with. Science subjects, I really did not bother. I did not like it. I just had to do it because I had no choice. So that was that. And then when we got to grade 10, grade 10, my teachers told us we had to like sort of um, choose a field of study. And that nearly had to do with what you wanted to become afterwards. And that's when I had to think to myself like, okay, I mean, I know I'm not good at numbers. Why take the accounting field? I know I'm not good at science. Why take science? So I knew I was in the social field somewhere, but now, I had to really uh, sit myself down and ask myself, okay, do you really want to become a lawyer or is it just because people have been feeding you um, legal aid or people want you to become a lawyer or people have painted you out to be a lawyer? I mean, other than that, I'm a very opinionated person. Um, I don't talk much. I mean, I do talk a lot, but you know, when essential, when necessary. So yeah. I had to sit myself down and ask myself whether I really, really wanted to become a lawyer. And then I sat myself down and I'm like, yes, I want to become a lawyer, but why? So I decided to job shadow two lawyers or two law firms. Shout out to my mentors, Chituri Law Chambers and Swarpo and Muharupa Achenis. Those are my mentors. And they've done a great, great, great job into mentoring me to the person that I am today. So I basically job shadowed um, this lawyers and i i loved the working environment i loved everything around me you know I got the chance and opportunity to be in court i attended court meetings we had divorce mediations this was beautiful the nature of the work is what i fell in love with it was so beautiful like so 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 beautiful i loved it so much so i did that like two months respectively each uh, so that was fun. That was really, really, really nice. You know, I just had uh, to discover why I chose the legal fraternity. Um, you know, there was a lot of gender-based violence. I mean, it's still happening. There's a lot of um, dumping of children and stuff like that. There's a lot of vulnerability happening around women and children. I mean, including men. We will not leave them behind. And I would want to have a say and make the difference and impact in people's lives um you know so that was that um and then i had to return to school i decided um, okay this is it i'm going to be doing the social field i want to study law so i think if i'm not wrong the um to get into law to get into varsity for law was 35 points and five or 32 but i am not sure about that but yeah, so I, 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 I had to work hard for it. I had to literally tell myself it was law or nothing because I don't really fit anywhere else. I don't have a second option, mind you. So I said, um, I, did, I, did, I did the social field. It was great. 
uh, my history teacher believed in me and he was like, you know what, you're a lawyer, man. And then, oh, you know what, there was a time when I was actually working in town. I was just taking a walk. I think I was getting, I was coming from the library. So I was literally walking and then this guy, it's like, you know, the beggars from the streets. He came there and then he was like, uh, future prosecutor of Sue Itzman, future prosecutor. And I was like, Lord, is this a sign? Because the Lord, I'm receiving signs. Like, I receive it, man. That was beautiful. That is when I knew, like, law was for me. So here comes the part where you have to not get into varsity. I did not have much uh, of problems getting into university for the course I wanted to study. But, of course, you need to, like, apply with a second uh, choice, which I did not have. So basically, my second choice was paralegals, which is basically a diploma in the legal field as well. So I wrote that down. I got my provisional acceptance letter and that is the most exciting, exciting part of my journey. That is exciting. But the worst part now comes in is uh, grade 11 and 12, I became a grade 11, so to say, I sort of became a rebel, you know, I was just a rebellious child and uh, I gave my parents a hard time. It was just, it was a sort of a phase for me. But just things I wanted to discover on my own, the things I wanted to do. I just felt like, ah, mom, boy, Marikana, I'll sort this out by myself. And you know, so that alone set a, a wall between my parents and I. And my parents felt like, oh, if she makes it, by God's grace, like it's. And plus, I used to walk from uh, my school, I was at Ventuk High School, to my mom's workplace, which was uh, the side of Kenya House, up the hill. And you know what, guys, you know when you're so tired, you're so tired, you're like already coming from a long walk and a long day from school, you get to the office and you're so tired, you can't even study, I mean, why are you even there, you know, so that was my point, I was like, why am I even here, you know, because I'm tired and I'm not able to study, and my mom was like, you know what, my child, do whatever you think is right for you, and from there I decided, went to high school, home, went to high school, home, so my mom was like, what? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Like, because I wasn't really showing her I'm putting in effort to pass or whatever, but God was with me, and I think I knew what I was doing, sort of. But that did not mean any disrespect. Yeah, but so that um, happened. Uh, I started going home and stuff like that. And then we eventually... Okay, so what I used to do is I used to, like, get home, and from home I would sleep a bit and then get to the library, to another library. So that sort of worked for me. So everybody really did not, I mean, everybody knew I wanted to study law. My entire family wanted, I knew I wanted to study law, but the thing is they just did not think I was working hard enough to become the lawyer that I want to become, you know? Yeah, so uh, different events occurred in my life and I had to sit myself down and I had to like, my friend, it's law or nothing. You did say it's law or nothing. So if you don't qualify for law here, Moshi TV, what are you going to be doing with your life? And that became really, really scary for me. So I had to work hard, late nights, early mornings, late nights, early mornings. And that worked. I got the points I wanted. Not even I wanted, beyond what I wanted. Because after my exam, I was actually counting my points and they were not adding up, brah. Like 28 points in five, brah. Like, boy, like, what is happening, you know? So that, that happened, and then just um, while I was counting my points, uh, we're waiting for the results, and the day of the results actually came. And guess what, guys? Like, I overdid myself. Like, I overdid it. I was like, what? So, yeah. So I basically made it. It was a rough journey through high school years, but it was not really hard for me to get into varsity because I worked hard. So you basically just have to work hard for what you really want. Um, yeah, I got into varsity. So here comes varsity. We get to varsity three months, three months into what it happened. Like that was my experience with varsity. Three months on campus, COVID happened. But that did not stop me, you know, because it's, it's what I wanted. Not the COVID, but yeah, the varsity life. So we had to do school online, you know. It was 
pretty much difficult but the thing the good or the thing that played to our advantage was at least we had the chance to get to campus and we um, met a lot of people i personally met a lot of people i made friends with seniors and they helped me a lot and that helped me so much to the point where i can help other people right now yeah so uh second year here we are it's rough guys what is it what is it like to study law let me just put it like that it's late nights early mornings a lot of case reading a lot of references a lot of because if you're not a reader law is not for you if you're a lazy reader law is not for you you need to be reading all the damn time you need to read you need to read all the time you know so if you're a lazy reader law is not for you would i recommend someone to study law i would say if it's driven by passion because like i said it's a lot of work uh, if it's driven by passion go ahead but don't study law because you did not get in for vast i for medicine or you didn't make it for engineering get into law because you love it and you really want to not because you didn't make it for your first choices rather opt for like a diploma in your second choice if you didn't make it for your degree so yeah that's that again yeah so basically that is my life i'm loving what i'm doing of course and you know and the legal fraternity is such a noble it's like a no it's, it's a noble sector you know i mean we dress in black and white it's beautiful it's so 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 beautiful. Um, i'm i'm actually privileged and happy to be here today if it was not for god i wouldn't be here today you know so all glory belongs to him yeah so thank you guys for watching and i hope i've answered the question of why are you studying law because people have been asking kucha hongul why are you studying law and it's a question i get every single day and i hope i hope i will not answer this question again like ever again so hey guys don't forget to like subscribe and share yes i got my words right like i got my words right <laughs> yeah don't forget to like um share and subscribe and please leave a comment below um yeah